So we're pushing hard for Senate Bill 14 and House Bill 2045, which would include sexual orientation to the State Human Rights Act. It's currently legal still in West Virginia to fire somebody uh, or deny them housing simply on the basis of their sexual orientation. We think that's wrong. And a, an overwhelming majority of West Virginians, 61 percent in a poll that we did two years ago, support this measure. Um, an overwhelming majority of Americans support it. And today we're talking about the endorsement of the AFL-CIO and the UMWA uh, of this measure. It's simply the right thing to do. That's what I was about to say. I know it's had it's had great support in the Senate and getting through. It's had trouble in the House. But now that you do have uh, two major labor organizations in the state, do you see that having an effect of trying to get that through the House this year? We do. I mean, we think you know this is just a sign of of you know of of the kind of progress that we've made, and also about the fact that this is not a controversial issue anymore. The vast majority of of West Virginians support it, as does labor, as does business. Uh, Eighty-seven percent of Fortune 500 companies already have sexual orientation inclusive uh, employment non-discrimination policies. It's simply the right thing to do for West Virginia to attract business um, and also to respect labor. We're happy to uh, be here today with Fairness West Virginia in support of and anti-discriminatory practices. Um, one who I emulated as a young activist and actually formed a lot of my opinions from was uh, Dr. Martin Luther King. And I think his words yet sound true today when we might think of injustice anywhere being a threat to justice everywhere. So the West Virginia AFL-CIO, the, the labor movement, and the civil rights movement certainly have a clear understanding of the need to always be vigilant of anti-discriminatory uh, uh, improvements and anti-discriminatory practices and code that would ensure that every worker, every citizen is judged by the content of their character and not by any other issues that might surface, whether it be race, creed, color, religion, or sexual preference.